I really want to see the kid to believe in Jesus because I know the reason why. Why is faith in Jesus and believe in Jesus very really important in their life? The world never gave them peace and love, but Jesus Christ can give them peace and love. And most of the children, they, they live in a difficult family. They're really happy when they come to church because they feel love, they feel safe, and like uh, people welcome them. So that's why I really want them to have Jesus. So wherever they go, they will feel Jesus inside of them. They will feel peace and joy as I have, I have and more than that. Welcome to the ICF Cambodia podcast. I am here with uh, my good friend Camry, who has been with us for a few years already. She leads the Kids Church, but let's talk about your history. When you look back, you grew up in a, in a house where you all lived together with two other siblings. And um, tell me about how was it living together in one little place? place how was that for you just uh, for me i really love and it was great time that we spent together but uh, you know we all, we have good time and difficult time together in the family not because uh, in my sibling relationship but the the family the whole family because like uh, i living in a, a poor family and my fa parents are farmer, and seem like we don't have a big job mm. uh, to like earn money to get money to survive. So your money was always limited. Were you sometimes like worrying about what you can eat? Oh, about worry about what can I eat? I don't. I did not feel that I worry about it when I was young, because uh, at that time it seemed like my village and. Uh, uh, the whole village, including my family, we have a lot of things to eat. And like, uh, it seemed like everything cheap, not uh, expensive. And also like in my family, we also plant some vegetable. And also we have uh, bamboo, a lot of bamboo sh uh, tree. And then the bamboo should come and we can take it, uh, make a soup. And we pet the pig and chicken. And yeah, a lot of things like taro, or like uh, potato, we plant it, and we live such a very joyful life and have a lot of things to it. We don't care much about what. So the village was helping each other. The families in the village were sharing food with each other, growing food, sharing. Yeah. Seems like a perfect life. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I look back to my uh, childhood, I was so happy and enjoy. So big part, I really enjoy it, and I really miss it. Mm. And what was a challenging part of your yeah. childhood? You know, when I was a child, I have uh, my friend, my neighbor's friend. We always play together. We always, like, go to the field together, even, even though, like, uh, we can help each other to carry, like, uh, the big bunch of rice mm. to bring back home. And then we can spend time to play game together. And every night that we have the moonlight, uh, every night that we have the moonlight, we go outside and we play game. Mm -hmm. And we run, we play game, we had a lot of fun. We enjoy very much. We don't have any gap between us. That sounds beautiful. Yeah. Is th was there anything difficult when you look back? Was there something that was really hard in your childhood? Um, so when I was childhood also, sometimes it's really, uh, I felt that a bit difficult when uh, my family, like my parents, they argue. They argue each other, but they are not fighting each other, hitting like that. No, they just argue, and I cry a lot, and I talk to them, oh, the parent, let's stop fighting. Mm. I, I beg you, please stop it. When you think about what they were fighting about, uh, was it about money? Was it about, what was it about? It's the most about like uh, attitude. Understood how they live, not really understand each other. They they don't, and also my dad he often gets sick, and my mom she the one like go outside to earn the money. 
Mm. And my dad also earned the money, but his job just very small job. They can earn a little money, but the most he got sick a lot. So that's why sometimes uh, they fight a lot about that. Because he got complain. sick. Yeah. And she needed to earn the money. Yeah. So so it was at the end about yes. Yeah, about earning about, money, having yeah, enough. Yeah, about yeah. that, and yeah. Mm. When you uh, think about your first job, what was your first job? <laughs> My first job, I am a Bible teacher. I teach uh, the like Bible school because I uh, created, uh, I graduated in 2010. I studied five year Bible school in Bible school, and I graduated, and then I work. I work. As a Bible teacher. Yeah. So how were you able to um, go to Bible school? Let's start there. Oh, yes, such a great <laughs> question. I really love that question. But, you know, it's amazing. Like, I can say to God calling me. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I, why I was in 2004, and I went to a center already. I was a uh, being a student there, I study English and culture, but I don't like culture, only English mm -hmm. that I really want to learn. And a lot of missionary at that place, we call, that place we call Bethel Center. It a lot of Korean missionary and uh, Korean American come, and I love to go in there, you know. And then uh, during that time, I was a grade 12 student. And you know one missionary, uh, Lee Ki Cha, She's a Korean missionary, Lee Ki Cha. She uh, asked my friend about like uh, apply to Bible school. Mm -hmm. That uh, it take about 11 kilometer from that center, and she asked my friend. But I feel like oh, give me two. I want to apply too. And at that time, I did not uh, know that I passed the exam or not. Finally, I failed the exam, but I can still apply. But you know, I apply it after that they choose. And then I took uh, the test to go to the Bible school, but we call like academy. First year we call academy school. So I applied it, I went there and I took a test and all the questions are from the Bible. And after that, I heard that I passed. So I start to first year of the Bible school. Then you started working as a teacher. How much money did you earn? Not yet teacher, not yet. After Bible school? Yeah, uh, we got first year at the academy. Mm. So I finished first year and I, I continued four more years. Wow. Yeah, so uh, I finished uh, at 2010. Mm -hmm. So I, 2010, and I graduated from Bible school. And then I started to work before I, don't know that uh, I am the one they are choosing to select me to work with, uh, with them, with that school. But because I didn't know, I go to ask the president, so can I work? And it seemed like they're a bit like, don't really want me. Like, they don't want me, you know? That's how you feel. They didn't yeah, want I, you. No, they didn't want you. And then later, they decide, okay, I can work. And they uh, give me like $172. But because I stay at the place, they cut like uh, the room, they yes, cut the, f the rent, the rent, the rent, and the food and the electric and everything, and also pay back to school. So oh, so you had to pay, pay back, back to school because they for, support me for yes. uh, many How much years. money did you have left from the one hundred and seventy-two dollars? Sixty-five dollars. So sixty-five dollars <laughs> for thirty days each month. Yes. A little bit yes. more than two dollars a day, <laughs> but. That's where you start. Yeah. How did you hear about ICF? So I heard about ICF through my friend Ratna and Singli. They, uh, we worked together at my old workplace, and then they stopped first. They moved uh, to Simrip like a few months ahead of me, and seemed like for me it's like uh, God prepared a way for me to mm. be here. Honestly, because like uh, my friend uh, called me, hey the place here, I said they need a kid pastor. And it seemed like I, I was working in my old workplace. So, uh, okay, it interested. And after that, I apply. And I apply, and then I come to, uh, uh, to see. It's like the, I met first the Bong Eddie. 
I met him first. And he brought me to see around the campus, and he brought me to the cloud building over there. Yes. Yeah, to the top, and he told me about the future that play gonna be this, gonna be that, like that. And yes. when you came here, you did not know about ICF, so you saw everything. You met the people. How did it feel? Um, I feel like it's uh, it's amazing. Like people, they work in such a big uh, organization. For me, it's a big organization, and I heard a lot of good things from my friend about uh, that organization, especially, you know, the water filter over there. So I really feel amazed because at, uh, my old workplace also have this water, but provide only in the school, not not for the villager, Yeah. only in the school. Mm. So uh, that's why I feel, oh, really good. And uh, my friend, they were volunteer uh, to like uh, in ICF. You started to work at ICF during COVID. So, which yeah. means you came here, there was no kids celebration, there was no, yeah, yeah, no big events, and uh, the people, we told you that we have like hundreds of kids on a Sunday, but mm. you never saw it. You were yeah. just working small, small in the villages. Yeah. So, after COVID, when we started again, and we had like, you know, like, a, I don't know, seven, eight hundred kids on the first Sunday, how was that feeling for you? It's very uh, big, big, num it can see like numbers of kids, they came like at one uh, kids celebration. I actually, live and I was in my uh, old workplace, we like also have devotion, but only like uh, for one hour, we, I meet with like uh, 200 or 300 kids uh, in that uh, worship time. But I don't really meet this such a, uh, a lot of kids at the same time and they come as a church they come to the church in worship mm. because at my school a christian school so that's why uh we have like a bible school to like put in the extra more for them you are the kids pastor here at icf in cm Reap, and every week you think about what you want to teach the kids and uh, if you think about how important is it to really share the the gospel and how do kids respond when you ask them if they want to receive jesus into their lives oh i feel like like big bump uh, from my heart blow out how i say blow out i make i'm really happy because the reason <laughs> sorry very it's okay. emotional it's okay I really want to see the kid to believe in Jesus because I know the reason why. Why is faith in Jesus and believe in Jesus very important in their life? The world never gives them peace and love, but Jesus Christ can give them peace and love. Mm. And most of the children, they they live in a difficult family. Mm -hmm. They're really happy when they come to church because they feel loved, they feel safe, and like uh, people welcome them. So that's why I really want them to have Jesus. So wherever they go, they will feel Jesus inside of them. They will feel peace and joy as I, ha I have, and more than that, more than that. Mm. So that's why, like, I really want them to hear, and I'm really happy every time when I look at them, mm -hmm. every eyes when I look at them, I can see how much Jesus loved them, and like he loved them so much, and he really want them to come to his kingdom, mm -hmm. he really want them to have a happy life and a joyful life, you know. I can yeah. see that every time that you are talking with the kids, even when the kids come, they run to you, they hug you, they love you. Yeah. I think it's uh, not only the kids love you, but you love the kids, and that's why yeah. it creates that connection. And we know that Jesus says, you know, they will know that yeah. we are followers of Jesus by our love for each other. And that's what I can see in your life, that... Jesus and his passion is alive and you feel that love yeah, yeah. that Jesus has for the kids flowing out through your life. Yeah. So what do you think, you know, if you think about the children and say 
t in 10 years from now, what will make the big difference by them following Jesus and how would their lives look different, their families look different in 10 years from now? They will be happy and love each other. And they happy and love each other. They will become a great leader in their family and in their village. And they will be good example. Mm. Because, you know, like when we believe in Jesus, we are the light and the salt of the world. Mm. So the children, they will be the light and the salt of the world. They will be the one that can change uh, their country. You know, faith yes. in Christ can change their country to become more like Jesus. Mm. And they will spread the love of God that love that bring peace, joy, and patient forgiveness, and like love care for each other. And mm -hmm. love can like make other people strong as they, as themselves. So that's why this is the future. If I don't see that, this is my future. Before like about, how, like about 20 years, 20, like I baptized 2003, now how many years? That's uh, almost, uh, 2003, almost, it 21 years. Yeah. Can you, uh, can, can you see in the future when I was 2003? Mm. So I didn't see the future. I didn't see uh, what I will become to be. But I reached to my goal. Because that goal in, in Jesus Christ. So that's why I thank God so much. God extend my land. Wherever they, I go, God like uh, bless the people. Because through the gospel. Yes. Not, not through Camry, but through the gospel. Mm. So that's why I'm really happy. So this is what I see. So their future the same. So I will really want to bless them. Wherever they go, God will bless the land. And God will extend their land when they put their life, faith in Jesus Christ. Oh, I love yeah. that, Camry. You yeah. brought that to a really good point that their future makes yeah. a big difference if they know Jesus or not. And I want to thank you, Camry, yeah. for your passion for kids, for your love for kids, for your love that you show every time that you meet the kids. We are thankful at yeah. ICF to have such a great kids pastor that it's not just a job, but it's a passion, it's a life. And when you look back, you say this made the biggest bit difference in your life yeah. and it makes the biggest difference in the life of the kids that are learning about Jesus. Yeah, and I really want to say thankful to God and, and I, I want to tell that God is the one that pre prepare our our plan that God had planned for mm. us that the plan not to harm but to prosper yes. and for the future give hope for the future so that's why I really thank God that I uh, through his calling so I can be here without God calling so I don't know so cool you know, yeah yes God calls us thank yeah. you very much Camry yeah Yes, thank you for joining and listening to this amazing yeah. story. I hope that you will join in for the next story that we have, uh, another person that we interview, because God is creating amazing yeah. stories here at ICF Cambodia. Yes. Thank you and God bless you. Yeah.